here for match number 12, the home side, the Brampton Wolves taking on the Vancouver Knights. Heads, heads is the call. Heads it is. And heads it is. Big smile on your face or quiet, quiet confidence. Yeah. Rusty, well, you won the toss, what are you looking to do? Yeah, we're going to bowl first. Max O'Dowd, the Netherlands international, he's going to open up with Usman Khan from the UAE. The big news, though, here at the GT20, Mohamed Rizwan, finish a test match in Sri Lanka, get on a plane, get yourself to Toronto, he's going to keep wicket. And Kamal it is, who's going to be opening the ball with a left arm swing. There we go, on the button straight away. Abhishek Junjun Wallows alongside me, Abhishek. Picked up. And that's away, that's four, that's a nice shot. Beautifully timed by Dowd. Nice way for him to get going. Quite quickly, and it's a lightning outfield as well. And very nicely played, very controlled from Dowd. 6.5 for over. That's picked up, and that's picked up beautifully, and that's gone easily for another boundary. The young Kamal just drifting to his pads with the fine leg inside the 30-yard circle. He's not going to miss out on those. And the Vancouver Knights are picking up uh, a wicket every 41 runs. So that's 16 runs versus 41 runs. Up front. <laughs> Give yourself some room. Playing that square. It's the big boundary, that one, 75 yards. Oh, what a shot. I thought he was going to die for that. He didn't. And now he's just looking threatening at this moment. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Have a couple later on. Shot! What a fine shot. Really nicely played. He's gone over the top. Only two allowed outside the cycle in the power play. It's been pretty easy for the batter to know exactly what he's trying to do. Lend deliveries at this level. Yeah, it's going to be hard. As a batter, you'll fancy that. Looks a lot of the associate players. Edge, wicket, that's what they needed. Trouble when it's struck now. They need to break this stand. They need to get a wicket inside four. They've done it. Yeah, that's a big wicket. Looking good. This over. Yeah, I was there, just losing a bit of shape. Going a bit towards the leg side. Cries of catch it. They might get another one. I think they will. It's Rassi van der Dusten, if I'm not mistaken. He doesn't drop any. Another wicket. That is brilliant. He would be a bit disappointed again, giving himself a bit of room outside the leg stump, but slicing the ball straight to Van der Dusen, who doesn't drop many. That's two wickets and three balls. That's uh, superb stuff. Really is good. That's going to put him on the back foot, that's for sure. Trumpelman, first over. He's got two for three now. Use of the feet down the ground. No time in and out. What a catch. That's the skipper. And uh, Rusty van der Dusen takes a, a smart catch. So it's use of the feet. The timing isn't quite there, high on top of the bat. And his jump is timed perfectly. Rusty Fenedis, and he takes his second catch. Trumpelman takes his third. Official airline partner of this competition. And another good over. It's a wicket maiden. What a rarity that is. Well, you called it, didn't you? It's a big swing so underneath it and taken easily. It was a real struggle. You go from hero, the last game, Colin de Grandon. Not quite zero today. One from ten. Big swing. He's clothed it. It would have been another catch with the Vancouver Knights. They are on top here. His team is in trouble. This is what you do not do. You must consume some balls. You must get used to conditions. Flat bats were straight up in the air. It's a good catch in the end because initially Najibullah Zadran doesn't pick up the flight of the ball. Oh, there you go. Just exactly what you said, Nyla Brian. Brilliant. And it's the first six of the innings. You practice this shot all the time. It's one of your go to areas. So take it. Take the aggressive option. I like it. You throw a few punches again. And then the bowling side's a little bit on the back foot. So it's a good shot from Hussein Talat, good execution. Yeah, they have been outstanding, and outstanding is that shot if he gets it right, and it does. One bounce four, both with bat and ball. And that ball has landed for a six. Brilliant shot. Carved it up and over cover, beautiful. Flashed the bat at it. Ah! Oh, that's gone. That's gone up. Is it going to go straight to the fielder? Yes, it will. Oh, 
Very good catch. Nicely bowled again. What a spell this is turning out to be from Templeman. He's banging it into the big boundary. Hassan took it on. And Mirapan took a good catch coming in. He's got hold of that. I can tell you that that's gone out of the park. The kiss of death on him. Dropped it short, sat up, and Green said, Woo! I'll have a piece of that. Midwicket in Cow Corner region. Oh, there was an opportunity for a stumping. Made a complete mess of that one, the wicket keeper, Rizwan. A lot of issues. Over the top of mid on, but caught at long on. Straight down his throat. Slams on a good length. It might be the back end of an innings, it might be death overs, but he goes length. Chris Green, you can see the frustration because that ball was actually there to hit. It just doesn't get the elevation. It was there to go. It was there to hit over the stands. Over number 18. It's a one-handed shot. That one, that'll uh, be a home run on any baseball ground. I think he's outfoxed here initially and then just has the power and the, the awareness to just swing through the line. Tim Southey, lovely bit of timing over extra. Shorter side, mind you. To yeah, fine strike. He's going again, back on the square this time. He's going to pick up a boundary there. Fernando Dawson's gone back at long off. There's, uh, oh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Another home run, one-handed, just like the baseball batters do. He's deep in his crease and he's crossed to the offside. He's given his game away there, Tim Southey, so Junaid Sadiq, he's got it wrong. He's given him a slower ball, he's given him length, and he's paid the price. Nicely ball jammed into the stumps yeah. area. I think he made it. Let's have a look here, nothing wrong with that. Good. I don't like seeing the bowlers pushing that front line too far. Junaid Sadiq in his follow-through, let's have a look. Again, no dive, no dive. Thir 34 years of age, no dive. South is going to pay the price here. Just keep pegging away. That's uh, saving a run, so that's important. And he's looking for it, and he's got it. Fine shot. From the UAE, a relatively inexperienced leg spinner. He's been around a couple of years. You just open the door. So they got the 120 mark. He'll be going again that way. This one might be over. It is just over. Just over the fingertips. Now, now he's thinking, I've made a mistake. And he has made a mistake. Should not have bowled a leg spinner. The last over of the innings with a short bounty. This is an error from the captain. Are well, they going to get past the 130 mark? Bowled him. Ran past it. Thought they are going to get past that 130 mark, but not to be. 16 off the last over, so you'll take that from the Wolves. Well, ball, Karthik Mayapan, you got a bit of tap, but you held your nerve. They'll be happy. Rassi van der Dussen won the toss, wanted the ball first. It's probably below par. It could have been a lot better. The Wolves, I think, will be happy at the mid-innings break, too. Oh, there's a bit of swing, too, for Saudi pass. The flashing blade of Fakir Zaman. And Beek. Goes short. And it's gone all the way for wides, I would think. Too short from Logan Van Beek. And it will be five wides. Bonus runs for the Knights. Oh, that sounded good. Don't worry about any glove action there. That's gone into the stand for some stand action. Fakar Zaman, lusty blow. It sailed over the mid-wicket boundary. Into the wind, if you please. Short, pulled away. Pulled away for four, finds the gap. A square leg, but he really had no chance. It zipped away off the bat. And ran away for back-to-back -back boundaries for the Knights. Right, some thinking for Saudi to do now. Fun big. Leg side, whipped away. He doesn't miss out there, that's for sure. Everybody up on the offside. Logan Van Beek, he goes straight. Frees that front leg, creates a hitting zone and gets a good piece of it. Bound on the leg side. Oh, he's chopped it on. Wow, that is a big one. Van Beek has struck again. He just keeps picking up wickets. This is brave bowling. This is gutsy bowling by Logan Van Beek. Particular ball. This time, pace off the off cutter. Looks to free up the onside again, Fakabal Zaman. 
loses his shape and loses his leg stump as well. As I said, gutsy, brave bowling. You miss and I hit. Good luck to him. <laughs> Strong delivery. Short and wide first up, and that's gone. No doubt uh, just escorted that a little bit. Coming in early here is Bosch, a few sighters, but here's a hitting opportunity and a good piece of timing. This will be exactly what Corbin Bosch has been asked to do. Get out in the middle. Nice to push on it. I mean, the finals of Friday said day Sunday, which is going to be going to be challenging. Uh, so it'd be nice to push for a top two spot with perhaps a chance to get a day off. Yeah, badly. <laughs> Leg side, full toss. That's uh, going to go away for four. So a drop catch of the previous ball. He yeah, overcompensates with the slower ball, and you could have seen Tim Southey saying, Why did you go with that option? It covers. Yeah. Oh, he goes fine. He's picked up a bounce. Gee, third man was ridiculously wide of power but on this occasion it's deft touch this delicate off the face of the bat and picks up a boundary with ease and it brings up the 50. oh, oh that's better beautiful and controlled reverse sweep great game awareness shown by corbin Bosch so far the opposite that i thought he might do i thought he might go muscular i thought he might go down the ground brilliant so there chris green Whoa. Bowls it back of a leg because I think Chris Green reckons he's going to come down the ground. Excellent shot from Bosch. Because he was start thinking, I need to score the runs. And he loves going over covers. We just set it and he goes it and does it beautifully for a six. Wonderful shot from Rizwan. From 21, he had to do something. It was now a bust and he bangs it over extra for six. Excellent shot. Again, going for the same and this time he goes the opposite way. First over cover and then over long on for yet another six. This is outstanding cricket from Rizwan. Finally, you've got a couple out of the middle. Yeah, when you have players like Rizwan who has the ability to clear the boundary. Yeah, he's rather steamy. Not as much wind today as we've seen in previous days. And well, this one has gone high up and doesn't need any wind at all. It will clear the long on boundary with ease. A six off the bat of Corbin Bosch to finish the over. Mohamed Rizwan getting into the action. Oh, very nice behind square. He knew exactly where he wanted to hit it. And did it beautifully. Four runs. Nice from Rizwan, just helping it on its way. Got underneath it. Just helped it down to fine leg for four. Clever betting. Oh, and slapped away. The fielder's looking up, has a bit, a bit of a jump, but no, won't stop it. That's the short boundary, and it's six more. Done and dusted, so he can head back to the hotel and have a sleep. Catch up on the sleep he's missed out on. Look at that, one-handed. Picked the short side and got enough just to go over the head of Colin de Gronholm. Yeah, got that away as well, fine, and it will be four more. Yeah, these are fortunate runs, but runs they'll take with both hands. This over already gone for 15. 46 runs off the last 30 balls for the Vancouver Knights. So, so important for the Knights. 50 for Corbin Bosch. Nicely played. Four overs, none for 10, going at 2.5 runs per over. Now he's picked up 50 off 41 balls, batting number three. Great game. Rizwan on 48, can he get to 50? Full toss, and he's got that away. He has got a 50, so a test 50 yesterday, a T20 50 today, brilliant work from him. What an addition he is to the Vancouver Knights. Nice for him also to arrive and get going straight away. He will now feel very much part of that setup. They picked up two points. It's a really important victory, this one, for the Knights over the Wolves.